Okay, hey everyone. Uh, what I want to do today is, for those of you that are at the high school that are teaching 9th and 10th grade classes, uh, we're going to be using a new program um, this coming school year that is going to help improve uh, Lexile growth you know, for reading levels for the students. And one of the questions that I've got from some of the people that have already been to the training or did the pilots last year is, how do I get a class list that gives me the student's username and their password? So once you've logged in to Achieve 3000, we're going to go underneath where it says Teachers Edition here, and we're going to click on the, administ the Admin button. Once we click on the Admin button, it's going to open up some options. Mine happens to be open because I was just in this window, but yours is probably going to look like this, and you're going to have all these different choices. The one that we want to choose is User Administration, so we're going to click on the arrow. When we click on the arrow, we're then going to go down to where it says print class list. And once we go down to that, it's going to open another window and it's going to have us choose a class. You're going to have accessibility to your classes. I have accessibility to everybody's because I'm going to be helping everyone, you know, throughout this process. So I'm going to choose Mr. Balanoff's class. You would select your own personal class here. Then you're going to click submit. Once you click submit, you're going to get a PDF that you could print. Uh, and it's going to give you the student's name, their login, which is basically their Google Drive login, which is their ID number at students.mentorschools.org. Then it's going to give you their password and it's going to tell you what they are. <clears throat> and it's going to tell the type is a student. So this would be something that I think would be really handy for um, teachers to have for when you have a substitute. This way if you wanted to assign and achieve 3,000 activity on a day that you were at an in-service or you happen to be ill that day, um, this would be a good thing to do in lieu of you not being in the classroom. So if you had this for those te the, the substitute teacher, it could be pretty beneficial. So let's close out of that. Now the other question, we're going to go back to the menu that I'm getting is how am I going to change my username or how am I going to change my password password is basically what we want to do here so same thing we're going to click on user administration I could do it one of two ways I could go here where it says find user and I could type my name and click search that's going to give me a window and all I have to do is click on the link I can scroll down and I can change my password if I want to if I go back to the menu, another way you can do that is go to Edit Student and Teacher or Parent Information and click on the Student and Teacher link. Select the class that you wanted to do. Hit Submit. And then it's going to give you a list of all your students. So then you could go to any one of your students, click on the blue link, and it's going to take you to that page that says or allows you to edit that user's name. Okay, So if they have not changed their password, their initial password is going to be cards and their student ID number. If they already have another password, that's fine. If they want to change it, this is how you could change it for them. Or they could even do this by themselves as they log in. So if you have any questions regarding this, you know, please let me know and uh, myself, Lou or Tracy could help you out with that.